Hi, I'm Mary Shimadi here at the Cedarburg Art Museum with Evelyn Patricia Terry, who is our guest curator of Eye of the Beholder, African Americans Collecting Art. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Mary. (laughs) So, uh, how many collectors did you get together for this show? There are 24 collectors, and that includes me, and also maybe representing 20 two households because some of the collectors collect separately within their households. Okay, so we have quite a variety of medium uh, or media Mm -hmm. at this show. Behind us, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about this? This one is by Reginald Baylor and it's in the collection of Cecilia Gore. Um, Randy Bryant uh, in their household and this piece is a digital piece which is done within the computer from uh, informed by a, a, an original painting. Sure. And the title is uh, Van Gogh's Irises. Yes, I didn't know the title. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's and an easy one though, Van Gogh's Irises. It's nice. And so here we have is- Mr. Steel Toe. Yes, this one is in the collection of Calvin and uh, Dorothy Greer, and it's by George Ray McCormick Sr., and it's done with Sculpey. Sculpey clay? Yes. Is that done in the oven? Yes. Okay. And then also, uh, the artist liked to sew. Sure. So So she made his own costume? So he made it, yes. He made that costume. Or he, yes. Yes. (laughs) And that one is by Rosamar and Saroma, and that's in the collection of June Perry Stevens and Bill Stevens. And, and that, that is, one is pastel. Right. And that's one of Rosamar's um, early pieces, like in the 1980s, I think, or 90s. Well, talking about early pieces, how about right. this one? This one is one of the, the, the earliest pieces in our exhibition. It's in the collection of um, Corey and Michelle Nettles, and it's called Invocation by Marion Greenwood. And it's a litho. Like, I, I think it's done on stone, because when I was in school, we did a lot of things that early on stone. Sure. Mm-hmm. And this one is in the collection of Janelle L. The Green. This is by William Christian. And what I want to say about William, He was one of the first artists that I saw in the world because he moved into my apartment building uh, and brought an easel. And I was like, a black man with an easel? (laughs) And I thought it was unusual, but he was very, very uh, productive, very prolific. And that was in the collection of Janelle Janelle Elder Green. Okay. William Christian. Great. Well, let's and move. Pencil, right? Graphite. Yes. Let's move on into the next room. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. I forgot to look at this one. This one was uh, by. This one is by Brad Anthony Bernard, and it's called uh, Sermonic Introspective. Oh, Sermonic In- Introspection. And it's like a sermon. I was married to a minister, so I should be able to say that. (laughs) Sermonic introspection. But it's in the collection of Una Vandeval. And it's a mixed media piece. It looks like actual cloth and... um, Right, that tie, the tie and his kerchief are actual fiber pieces. And and the rest of it looks like all different types of paper and uh, some painting. So acrylic mixed media collage on a wood panel. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's another one that's interesting. Woodrow Nash, and that's in the collection of Mary Ali Masai, and that's a ceramic piece. I understand he's an Ohio artist. He is. He used to live here in Wisconsin, maybe in Madison. Okay. Yes. Oh, look at this beautiful work. (laughs) She's flattering me. Okay, so this is my work, and this is mixed media print 
a, like a monoprint or a monotype. I have no idea which one I'm supposed to say right now. But it means that it's one like that. And I've used a lot of collage in it to uh, get the results that you see and threads. And that's uh, from the collection of Troy Yancey. Oh, right. That is Troy's. I thought it was mine. <laughs> no, no, that is Troy Yancey's. Oh, and here is Little Miss Poofs. I love the title. And this is by Rashad Ali Muhammad, and that's in the collection of uh, Michelle, uh, Corey and Michelle Nettles. And he uses, what's unique is he uses gold leaf paint here for her, the poofs on her hair. It's, it's better viewed in person. It's very brilliant and... Yeah. Um, Really quite an outstanding work. Yes, yeah, it's, it's beautiful to me because of the purple skin mm -hmm. um, against that gold. And I, I understand this was one of the pieces that was a gift to the spouse. Yes, you're right. It was a gift. <laughs> and, and the artist is from the uh, Washington, D.C. area. Mm -hmm. Very good. This is one of our largest pieces in the show. It's about 54 by 63 inches. Yeah, large. And this one is in the collection of Cynthia Henry. And the artist, his name is Francis Anon Afote. Uh, Afote. Yeah, Afote. From oh, I, I should memorize it. I see him all the time, and I just call him Francis. <laughs> okay. Francis Anand, I know that part. So born in um, Ghana, but now American, and... He's been in America for a while, but now they're in England, he and his wife. Okay. In Oxford. And uh, they'll this... Be there. They'll this... be back in two years, they said. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is such a gorgeous work with so many little pointless dots yes. that make up the whole thing. This and it, and it covers one whole wall in our parlor here. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And now this one is Tana Bui, and this is in the collection of Cecilia Gore and Randy Bryant. And I keep saying Cecilia first, so I better say. Randy Bryant and Cecilia Gore, too. <laughs> okay. But what I want to say is she's a printmaker, and she experiments a lot with mixed media, how she works with it. Um, and you were noting before about the grades. It's called... Uh, the Good uh, Student. Good Student. So, the this, grades are reproduced. Yeah, these are report cards all around the young student that um, are... No, oh, they're probably photographic um, reproductions that are, you know, then kind of pieced on the background mm -hmm. first, and then so there's it, painting over it, right, and there's it. there's some uh, tool netting um, on that beautiful rose. So that's pretty interesting. So this one is in John Daniels' collection, and this piece is by Rosa Marinsaroma. And it's basically acrylic and oil, uh, maybe pastel. So, um, but it's important because he just won the Mary Knoll for established artists this past year. Oh, that's Rosa exciting. Aroma. So this is called Know Thyself, We Are an African People. In the, yes. in the Daniels collection. Okay. John and Irma Daniels collection, yes. Okay. And we have a group of four on this wall in our dining room. Okay, so the one top left is Kathy Jones. She lives in California. The piece was purchased here by, by Nancy Samuel. Mm -hmm. And um, it's acrylic, is it? Can you tell? It's um, actually oil on oh, canvas oh, okay, from 2018. Mm -hmm. And that's Nancy Samuel's contribution. So the next piece is by um, Matopi J. Johnson, and it's a mixture of, uh, I think you said, uh, watercolor? Yes, watercolor, pencil, and mixed media. Mixed media. From Sandy Robinson collection. Yes. 
It's very interesting, and it's probably good to find out what the history is behind it. <laughs> I think it's uh, informed by the artist Francis Bacon. I remember that he said that. Right. By okay. image from Francis Bacon. Now okay. this one is in the collection of June Perry Stevens. Is that right? Or, or not? No, I, I know it. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's in the collection of Nancy Simiel. And Nancy would strangle, strangle me if she caught me saying that. <laughs> not in her collection. But that is by Sharon Carey Harlan. And, and it's, it's a quilted. She's using fiber. Right, so it's fabric. called a miniature quilt. Okay. And here we have an earlier work by Della Wells in pastel. That's pretty interesting. I think that's an oil pastel, and that's in the collection of Wyman Winston. And he adores this piece. I think it's one of his initial pieces he said he bought, informed by Mrs. Hewlett, who told him to collect what he loved. So... He, this is one of the first pieces that he loved. Great. And this one is in the collection of Blaine Gibson, and it's by Chuck Weber. And uh, it's interesting. Do you see how deep the... Yeah, the, the, the message on the oil board is incised um, yes. about a quarter of an inch saying tomorrow will bring good things stay alive to see it mm, that's interesting <laughs> okay so that's like I said that was in Blaine's Blaine Gibson's and here's something from Della Wells's collection okay that one is Annie Gergich and she lives in Portland, is that right? Which do you remember the city? Somewhere in Washington. Yeah. Washington State. And she's a self taught artist who is very prolific and has a strong national standing. And this is a painting with encaustic, I believe. Oh, I was gonna say it looks like wax. I can kind of mm -hmm. see the wax. Now, I'll see if I can get a good picture of this one up above from... This is David Anderson, and it's in the collection of... Uh, John, John Dan Daniels. Yeah, John Daniels' collection. Yes, and um, this is... David Anderson used to live here. He moved after he retired to Atlanta, so he's basically living there now, and this piece is, I think... Uh, graphite and colored pencil, maybe. Right. And actually, moving along, speaking of Atlanta, this is a work by an Atlanta artist. Oh, right, Charlie Palmer. Charlie Palmer. And Charlie, Charlie used to live here also. Right, raised in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Raised his family here. And, and this uh, is... This is in the collection of Sandy Robinson. Right. Okay, so this... Work is from uh, about 1990, so that's and one of his. It's called Endangered Species. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? This is Calvin Greer's work, and Calvin, the late Calvin Greer, and he collects with uh, his wife, Dorothy Greer. I mean, he kind of influenced her to start collecting, and he was an artist who carved a lot of um, drums, and you can see that it would be nice if you can even hear it because it has a beautiful tone. So here's a really uh, smaller version of what he sold a lot when he traveled the country selling these. Now this one is a collection of, oh, Joseph. This, this, oh, I'm sorry. This both is a, of these are these from... These are both from Josephine Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, that's her collection. So excuse me, Josephine, for that. And this is in the collection of uh, Dorothy Greer. Okay, so we have another drum here. And, and that one is also by Calvin Greer. And he does so many uh, little inlaid decorative yeah, elements nice. there. That's mm -hmm. pretty neat. And this elephant on, on the ending it's is on the end. pretty interesting. He was very good, uh, very... Uh, 
good work. Um, I guess the person who worked with wood, the way he carved, and he even did all his floors in his house, and a lot of different woodwork around the house, he did a lot of it. But he also traveled around the country going to major festivals, supplying people with these kinds of drums. And I've never seen another drum that looked like this. Wow. Let's, um, Evelyn, right back here, we have uh, another Reginald Baylor piece. Yes, this Reginald Baylor piece is in the collection of uh, Corey and Michelle Nettles. And it's embroidery on denim. That's pretty interesting yes, technique. I, I haven't seen that a lot anywhere. I don't think I've ever seen it before. But it probably exists. <laughs> But it's very original. Now, these two pieces down below are an interesting um, medium. Tell us about that. Okay, this medium is Simply Markers, and it's by an artist. Her name is Kirsten uh, Gusnavi. And this one is in the collection of Fatima Laster. And it looks like a paper doll. It does look like a paper doll. It's movable. So you could change your positions all the time. It's put together by, do you call these brads? Or yeah, or, yeah, I think so. Some kind of pins, but uh, you can move her around and change her position. And this one is by her, uh, and that's in the collection of uh, Sequoia Blackwell. Mm -hmm. And this one is Eileen Doman, and it's in Bella Wells' collection. And is it oil pen? Um, yes, it is. Great. She's um, Eileen Doman is a Chicago area artist, mm -hmm. um, born in 1954. Oh, okay. Let's move along. Oh, look at this assemblage up here. Okay, this assemblage is in the collection of Sandy Robinson, and it's Patrick Turner, and Patrick is known for his uh, collection of all kinds of imagery uh, that he put into collages and also all kinds of assemblages that he put together. This sure is quite a collection of unusual things. Mm -hmm. And what's next to it? This one is Rosemary Allison's piece and it's mixed media glitter and drawing on paper. Uh, this is one of her Me Too women and she has had a show, and it was uh, very, very well attended, and she sold most of her meat to the people. <laughs> but they're all very different, and she, they're very imaginative. It's like she's designing their clothes, but in reality, she also makes clothing for people to wear. It's very uh, creative and imaginative. So, and that's from the collection of... That's from the collection of... Uh, Nancy Simuel. Yeah, Nancy Simuel. Had to get back. I'm looking so much at all the design, yeah. glitter and things that are in Now we place. have two... Uh, these are... Um, Sequoia, petite works, you know. Yes, these are Sequoia Blackwell's contributions, and they're... Um, she started collecting when she was 13, and now she's 18. This one is... Carrie Guerin, and this is Fatima Laster, and I think this one is a uh, maybe a leno. This one here, if you go back a minute, is a leno cut print. Okay, it does say relief print. Yes, and this one is by Fatima Laster, and it's a mixed media print, maybe with plaster. It looks like yes, and uh, other uh, maybe paint, acrylic paint. Well, and that was our youngest, youngest collector in the... Yeah, she's the youngest in, in the show, right, Okay. 18. Oh. And she's been collecting for a long time. I would say probably because Della Wells is her aunt and influenced her a lot. 